Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Yeah, as the Earth warms up as a whole, right now, locally, we're going to be going through an Arctic blast here in winter. Uh, so get ready for it. Some The coldest air of the season about to roll in this weekend and heading into next week. There could even be a little bit of snow associated with it. So let's talk about it. Here's a live look outside. A bit dreary. Still some showers out there and even some steady rain for a few locations around the metro. We'll show you radar coming right up, but here is the cold. It's still 45 in Frankfurt, Springfield 44 degrees, but check out Bedford and Huntingburg already below freezing at 31 degrees. So the Arctic air is about to roll in and that's just the beginning. The cold air will continue to filter in through the weekend and next week. This is where it's coming from. It is so cold to our west. One lonely degree in Omaha, Nebraska. 10 degrees below zero in Bismarck. Look at Billings, Montana. 21 degrees below average. These are actual temperatures. The wind chills are much worse. Speaking of wind chills, this is what we're expecting in our backyard over the next few days. Starting on Saturday, tomorrow, a high of 34, that's it. But it's gonna feel more like 24 because it's gonna stay breezy tomorrow. So grab the jackets. Saturday night, we get down to 12 degrees in the city. Outlying area is colder. And we drop below zero Saturday night for wind chills. That is dangerous. So please, if you're out Saturday night, wear the hats, the gloves, cover up exposed skin. And then Sunday gets even colder, a high of 19 degrees during the day, but it's gonna feel more like the single digits. That's the Arctic air part of the system. There's also snow associ associated with it. We're getting a little bit of rain right now, just south of Louisville. And then here's some snow in St. Louis. That's gonna rotate around this low pressure to our north tonight and bring us a few scattered snow showers and flurries. We're not expecting much, but maybe a light accumulation in some spots. There's the rain down into Bullitt County, uh, Hardin Nelson counties. That's the rain. Looks like it's already beginning the transition to a few snowflakes over towards Hardinsburg. So we'll watch that as the colder air continues to build in, plus that moisture in St. Louis. So we do have some snow chances over the next several days. Flurries and snow showers tonight, little to no accumulation. Even tomorrow night, we have a chance at some scattered showers. We'll watch that for some light accumulation in a few areas. And then our best chance, the one we've been advertising for a little bit is some accumulating snowfall Sunday night or Monday. We're still figuring out the timing. It still looks like the best chance for accumulating snow will be south of Louisville. So here's what we're thinking right now for the one we've been talking about Sunday night into Monday. Notice the pink areas. That is where snowfall accumulation is possible. The purple areas is where we have the best chance for accumulating snowfall. So likely the parkways south, especially extreme southern Kentucky and into Tennessee, that's where we're more confident with accumulating snow. So we're going to watch it closely. Little changes in the path are going to make a big difference. So tonight we'll drop down to 27, a few snow flurries later on. Tomorrow, 34, a cold day, feeling more like the 20s with some of those flurries and snow showers late in the day. So Futurecast is timing it out. Notice a few of these flurries and snow showers. Not a big deal tonight. Tomorrow, a good amount of clouds. We're dry for the first half of the day. And then here comes the actual Arctic air mass. It could bring some snow showers with it late Saturday and into Saturday night, maybe a light accumulation. Ooh, 19 on Sunday. Man, it's gonna be a cold one and it's gonna be breezy Sunday too. Then here comes that snow chance Monday. Maybe it'll linger into Tuesday morning. We'll see what we know for sure, Rick, is there will be a lot of cold air around and it's gonna be an active weather pattern. So there are snow chances uh, every few days, it looks like here in our seven day forecast. But will there be a big one? That's the question. Will we get hit? Stay tuned. We'll be watching it closely. Oh, it's gonna be cold Fun for sure. Fun times in the weather center. Yeah, I'm be sure. Be safe, stay Keep warm, yeah, in the cold. Thank you, Daniel.